Welcome to video 172 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC hold range weapon script. Now I must tell you that this script is really uh, for hacky purposes. It's when you don't have an animation for your character where the character is holding the weapon, then you need to play with the uh, IK of the uh, of the NPC of the model so that it looks like it's sort of holding the rifle. It'll never look 100% quite right. You really need an animation for that. And uh, well, typically you have to get to get good ones. You've got to buy those animations. So I'll just show you how to write this script. It's at least a a measure to put in place in the meantime, and it works all right. I mean, it looks okay. It looks almost good enough. So let's open it up. Okay. So first thing, the variables. So they are private NPC state pattern, NPC state pattern, private animator, my animator, public transform, right hand target, public transform, left hand target. So I think you can kind of guess what I'm going to do. On the weapon that I give to the NPC, I'll add two empty game objects to it. So this is going to be, uh, you'll see this come into later, it come into effect later, not, not this video. But uh, when we set up the NPC with a range weapon, what I'll do is on the gun that the NPC is holding, I'll put two empty game objects, one for where the right hand should hold on to, and one for where the left hand should go. It doesn't actually hold on to anything, it's just that the hands will be positioned at those locations, and we'll write the on animator IK code to make the model move its hands to those locations. Okay, so in set initial references, I will put NPC state pattern is equal to get component NPC state pattern. My animator is equal to get component animator. I don't need any of the other methods except for start. And inside of start, I'll just call set initial references. Okay, so the main method is on animator IK. So this is it void on animator IK. Uh, it looks pretty lengthy, but it's actually quite simple. So, of course, yeah, just like in the last video, make sure that the uh, name of the method and the case is exactly uh, matching, because this is a unity method. Now, first check if NPC state pattern dot range weapon is equal to null return. Get out of this method. There's no point doing anything further if this uh, NPC doesn't have a range weapon. Okay, now continuing. If my animator, so if, if it did have a range weapon, the rest of the code would continue. If my animator dot enabled, then if NPC state pattern dot range weapon dot active self, then if right hand target is not equal to null, then my animator dot set IK position weight avatar IK goal dot right hand one. Okay, and then my animator dot set IK rotation weight avatar ik goal dot right hand comma one uh, my animator dot set ik position and that is avatar ik goal dot right hand comma right hand target dot position then my animator dot set ik rotation avatar ik goal dot right hand comma right hand target dot rotation now, this, you just repeat exactly the same thing for the left hand. So if left hand target not equal to null, then you can see here I'm setting the IK position weights. And this time the avatar IK goal is the left hand. And of course, you can see the values there, one and one. And same thing for the set IK position and set IK rotation. Now, I'm using a value of one for the uh, weights because I want this uh, IK. I want it to go all the way to its target. I want the hand to go right as far as possible. Well, I shouldn't say the word right. I want the hand to move as far as possible towards that IK target, which I'm going to supply, which I supply there. You can see the right hand target dot position. And for the left hand, you can see the left hand target dot position. So it's pretty simple code, but this will make the hands of the NPC move towards the two targets that I'm going to supply. And uh, then uh, the following the arms as well will also follow suit as well. And yep, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat that uh, we have that sort of uh, capability built right in for us to use uh, from Unity. That's pretty good. And that's it. Okay, so the script is very simple. I'll just scroll through it pretty quickly. 
All right, so that is it. Now going to Unity, just double check there are no obvious errors. Doesn't look like they are. So I'll go ahead and attach it. Now I'm probably not going to use it uh, on the Golem. When we uh, have a uh, another NPC, I'll set up another NPC. So I need to set up a ally NPC that's ranged later on. Then you'll get to see all that and also how to set up the uh, gun as well so that the NPC can use it. But that's still to come. Uh, the next video we need to do a lot of work uh, updating the gun scripts so that we can uh, set it up for becoming usable for uh, the NPC. So at the moment the NPCs can't use the gun and uh, we need to change that. Alright, anyway, so that's it uh, for this video and I will see you in the next video.